and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some more Dredge. That's right, we're bringing back Dredge. This deck was a lot of fun to play last format, and the original person that donated for the deck, Vera Day, uh, donated for it again. But this was, yeah, this was one of my most popular decks to play last format because it was just so much fun. So what we're doing here, and I guess to, to try to explain what Dredge is for those of you that don't know, basically Dredge was a keyword from the original Ravnica block that um, had to do with cards being in your own graveyard and um, gaining value from them. Like you would dredge cards in your graveyard and put them back in your hand. A card, a card in your graveyard with the keyword dredge could go back to your hand and mill over uh, cards from your own library. We obviously don't have that, that keyword here because that's not in standard anymore. But the idea of our deck is to self-mill. So we are a self-milling deck trying to get cards in our graveyard and then get those cards from our graveyard to do stuff. So we have Narcomoebas that whenever we put those into our graveyard from our library, we put those onto the battlefield. We have Creeping Chill. Whenever that's put into our graveyard from our library, then we exile it and we deal three damage to the opponent, gain three life. So we get to so that life gain helps us keep stay alive. The damage helps kill them. And then of course we have Arc Light Phoenix. Try to mill a bunch of Arc Light Phoenixes in our graveyard and cast three spells and bring them out. The best way to mill our, ourselves is with Drowned Secrets. This is the key to our deck, probably our most important card. We want to have this card, be able to play this. Then every blue spell that we cast, we can mill two cards, uh, you know, mill ourselves for two. So we can really turbocharge our milling with the Drowned Secrets here. New addition from M20 in this deck, which looks really interesting we're going to be playing some scheming symmetries um yeah we haven't i haven't seen like this this in any standard deck yet so this is pretty sweet we're going to be trying this out so we can play this on turn one to be able to go go get drown secrets right so it's very good there later on in the game it's a one mana card that uh towards our arc light phoenix right so it's only cost one mana uh, so, you know, when we're trying to play three spells in a turn, one mana cards are very good. W like, we can we can, we can can also kind of do some tricky stuff with this. So each person, each person uh, shuffles their library for a card, puts that card on top. We can, like, do that, and then we play a spell, and then we drown secrets, mill our opponent to. And so, like, whatever spell they put on top that they want, we can just mill it over. Or we have our Jace that we can uh, tick up. Say target player puts the top two cards, so we can also mill our opponent. So <laughs> we can actually get away from the downside of this card uh, with that. So looks pretty cool. We could do some crazy stuff. I'm interested to, to see if that actually works. If it, if like what will happen with the card. But yeah, let's give this a try. Um, see if we can win some games here with Dredge. Let's change our profile. Our Angrath's haven't been working super well for us. Let's go with Jace. Jace is our dredge. Our dredge one. All right, so we're going over to the traditional constructed queue, of course, with our donation decks. Yep, they'll never see it coming. Maybe they... Plus, maybe we have, like, the, the mind game of... You know, we have our Jace or our Drown Secrets in play. We cast the Scheming Symmetry... Uh, they go and put a crappy card on top because they know that we're going to mill it, and then we don't mill it, and then they draw the crappy card. What if we have that? What if we have that uh, mind game? You never know. All right, so Drown Secrets, as we talked about, is like our most important card, so I'm definitely going to keep this. Uh, we got the Temple, Scry for a Land. Perfect. Awesome. So good looking hand here. Like what we got going on here. Hey, Sal, did going very good. Playing a sweet one here. Espa. All right, we're going to be looking for phoenixes. Um, yeah, I'm sure I, I could do an Unmoored Ego deck. I'm not sure if I'll have it ready for tomorrow or not. 
Oh no! That is one of the absolute worst cards for me to see in this so deck. Narset. One of the very, very worst cards to possibly see. Do I want to play this next turn? I want to play the Jace next turn. Let's... So we, we kind of need a land for the Jace. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go bottom because I'm looking for land. I wouldn't mind having that card in my hand. But I, I definitely want to get this Jace out of here before Thought Erasure happens. I'm always a step ahead. It's a matter of give and take. And yeah, obviously we, we don't get to draw the card, but <clears throat> they don't get to take it with the Thought Erasure. One Phoenix so far. Hmm. That's really unfortunate. See how many more phoenixes or creeping chills we get here. That's what we're looking for. Creeping chills and phoenix. Phoenix and chill. Alright, got a phoenix. Alright, we don't actually draw a card. Uh, I guess that's a problem. I forgot about not actually drawing the card. Crap. Well, I messed this up. I guess we're going to have to wait till next turn. Harder. To get these phoenixes back. We need the five mana. <clears throat> we'll find another radical idea though. We'll we'll be good. Like we can we'll still be able to get the phoenixes back next turn. But we just need five mana and we need these two cards. We need them to not play another Narset though. That's that's what we need is them not playing a Narset. So unlikely that we do 17 to them, but it's possible. It's definitely possible. So we gotta hit three creeping chills or our last phoenix all right so there's one chill so we just got to hit two more chills slash the last phoenix there's another chill i think yes yeah, so all we have to do is hit one more uh we're going to uh, mission briefing a mission briefing
Yeah, because this, this is going to put them down to one right now. And then opt. There's our last Phoenix. And a third chill. They dead. We're gonna get four Phoenixes back. Oh, they didn't let us do it. Good old Dredge. So yeah, we're bringing four Phoenixes. <laughs> yeah. This deck is sweet. Yeah, we just beat Esper. All right, now games two and three. So negate, certainly good. Yeah, I think we, we're gonna cut chill and go for negate. They, let's get Ashiok instead of Narcomoeba. Like Narcomoeba's best thing is picking off the three mana Planeswalkers, Teferi and Narset, specifically Narset. Narset's the one that's the big problem. Hey, what's up, Dazed and Amused? Thanks so much for that resub. Yeah, so the thing is, is yeah, they're going to have Cry of the Carnarium. Maybe I don't play the Scheming Symmetries. Maybe that's what I do. Is I, maybe I just cut a couple of those. Basically, as long as they don't have Narset, I feel pretty good. Cut a Kefnet and... And a Jace. Yeah, because we are going to be milling them. But Jace is good at milling them too, though, right? But I guess these do turn on there to Sparks. All right, I'll, I'll cut it one Jace. I think I like the Kefnet, though, still. I want to cut a Narcomoeba. I have both Narcomoebas. Give me this Jace. Yeah, I'm cutting two Narcomoebas. Because, yeah, because we're going to be milling them, most likely. Usually, post like game one, they don't have as much interaction. You want to mill yourself as much as possible, get those phoenixes, all that kind of stuff. But then games two and three, you kind of switch, and now we're we're going to be a mill deck. Because they're like, usually they just have like a ton of interaction here now for us. And so we're going to be trying to mill them instead of milling us. Uh, that's fine. I am not going to sit this one out. Trust me, I have a plan. Whatever, your plan's lame. Hey, Bronson. Thanks that Twitch Prime sub. That's our tenth sub of the day. No, not Narset. I know any meditate. Not Narset. All right, so we hit a sub goal. Thought distortion? Yeah, get that thing out of here. Get that mess out of here. No big to fairy. Let's slow this down. I'm not ready. Negate, of course, doesn't do anything with that little to fairy out there. I have just the trick for this. This might be a bad idea. I'd love to 
love a good puzzle. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Hold that thought. I am not making this up as I go. This is definitely this has definitely been the worst case scenario for us of what they've had here every single turn. You know, the Teferi to bounce the drown secret, slow us down, turn off the negate, then the Narset, then the big Teferi. Like those were honestly the absolute worst case scenarios. Cast your stuff at during my draw step, come on. No reason to cast that right now. Cool, got rid of two bell haunts. I mean, casting Radical Idea during their turn to draw a card would be nice, but we can't cast it during their turn because of Little Teferi, so we're, I'm just stuck here. And I'm assuming they're going to Thought Erase your way at the Ascanta, unfortunately. They may, they may take Drown Secrets. Oh no! So we got them. Um, so they're at twenty-five. I'll protect you. Keep up the pace. Really hope this Ashiok resolves. Trust me, I have a plan. Hone your prowess. I got him 23. No. My Jace. I'll plan better next time. Down to 22. They have more discard, please no. It's really unfortunate I needed that. Really need that Ashiok. Basically, all of the hurry, all the worst case scenarios for us happened in this game. Beg for your life. It's 
makes your nightmares sweeter. Yeah, I like getting these noxious grasps in here. Our opponent's win con there was was just the Jace. They they just took my Jace, so Jace was gonna win that game. Not gonna stop it. No, 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 Gates. Gates pretty critical. I, mean, I could try just going with like the Narc Amoeba Grasp plan instead. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. Am I supposed to be keeping symmetry? We got our red mana. We're going to be hard casting some flat flaps. Get him, Phoenix. Get him. Get him. If you show remorse, I'll show restraint. This might be a bad idea. I guess I shouldn't let them be able to instant speed Kaya's rats and all that kind of stuff. One person playing Thought Distortion. Just I let's skip to the good part.
Yeah, it was messed up. Yeah, earlier we played against the one, the one Esper player that was playing Settle the Wreckage. You know, like the time they needed Settle the Wreckage, they were playing that, crush, uh, crushed us with that. And now the one Esper player playing Thought Distortion. That's more. No time for a break. Really wish I would have kept in creeping chills. Kind of wish I would have just kept in like the the game one plan. Like they they did not have like the lots of like cryocarnariums and creature removal and stuff like that. Like they were very good against spells. Not I kind of wish I would have just kept the game one plan. But you know honestly like that's that's just kind of different for for every person. All right, so lost our first one. Played some good close games, though. Let's see how we do here for game two. Soltai Elemental Ramp with Thought Distortion. That does sound pretty sweet. That, that does sound pretty sweet. All right, let's try out the scheming symmetry, see how good it is. Gets us our most important card, our Drown Secrets. They get to put like whatever card they want on top. Hope this isn't just Esper again, but could be. kind of all we're playing against what we played against with the Selesnia deck they go put Dovin's Veto on top of their library that'd be mean wow Or this is just blue white counter all your stuff. We'll go get him, jellyfish. Hmm. Well, they're 
we're playing 21 lands. They're probably playing a lot more, so eventually they're going to run out of stuff. They're just counter every card draw spell. They'll run out, out of counter spells eventually, right? I mean, they have the their name is counter spell <laughs> countering radical idea oh man that's pretty good I like it it's genius how you play that Now you can't draw one card. That's all it does is just draw a card. No. Can't draw a card. Oh no, not binding. Rough. A victory. It's just an illusion. All right, what do we got in here? Scheming symmetry. That was perfect. Would I rather have Jace or Drown Secrets? Wait, I can't I can't cast Jace. What am I doing? Give me this Drown Secrets. Good, we got the opt. So next turn I can go briefing, briefing, opt. If we draw a land, I get to go briefing, briefing, discovery. And do like the absolute most milling over. Jump into the fog. Bleh. I guess that means I have to radical idea. I mean, just radical idea briefing. Opt. It's unfortunate. All right, first chill. Second chill.
All right. That was pretty sweet. <laughs> Thanks, Balding Eddie. All right, now we want the Negates and Ashiox. Um, yeah, we'll cut down on Amiibos. Yeah, Dredge versus Counterspell Tribal matchup. Yeah, see? Stator's not boring. <laughs> I know, I like I like our opponent's commitment to the bit. Their name's Counterspell, and they they literally countered every single possible thing that they could. Every card, whether it was like good to counter or not, if they had a counter spell in hand, they cast it. Every discovery, every radical idea. Everything. Alright, so what's more likely? Our Drown Secrets resolves, or if we wait till turn four, if we play Drown Secrets with Negate back up, that that resolves. Then it resolves. It's probably more likely on turn four. I guess I'll just let's just pass because like what if they're just playing Narset or Little Teferi, especially Narset? That'd be really annoying. Hey, what's up, MX Silence? Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. Oh yeah, we hit our sub goal. We need to go get a, a pack. Spell Pierce. Spell Pierce. Darn. I don't think this is going to work against our counter spell opponent. worked all right now do they have binding no binding I mean, should I be milling them? They can't have, like, very many ways to actually win the game, right? Oh, yeah, get that Narset out of here. Thank you.
Hey, kitty. <laughs> so the kitty's dancing the song. Let's see what card they got. No, 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 no. You don't get to draw that card. It was a binding. All right, there are 27 cards. Resplendent Angel. That thing's pretty good. So they're, they have 23 life now. Every blue spell that we cast is basically Lava Axe. Um, no, we need to wait on Mission Briefing. All right, so they're at 18 life. It's more likely that they have negate here than scatter. Huh. That's scatter. 16 life, 14 life. Thirteen life. Oh, all four negates are in the graveyard. Oh, well. I guess I could have checked that. I should have cast Jace instead of Discovery, or instead of Mission Briefing a little bit ago.
gosh, I'm one card short. We're one card short. If I if I would have played Jace before instead of Oh! They didn't have another counter spell. Never mind, we we got him. We got him. They didn't have the counter spell for that drown secrets. We were gonna we we're only gonna mill him to one. GG. We're gonna mill him down to one card, and they were gonna draw their very last card, draw it for turn. Uh, if it wasn't for that drown secrets, and we but we drew the drown secrets, and that got us there. Well, I guess they were saying good game like it was going to be over one way or the other, I suppose. No, but like just something to play wasn't wasn't good enough. Like it had to be Drown Secrets because we needed that we needed the we needed that one an extra trigger that Drown Secrets gave us. You know, if we would have just drawn whatever else it wouldn't have been. But that's true. I guess our card draw that's that's a good point because we were going to just be drawing a card with the radical idea i forgot about that so all we needed to do was draw any card that cost two or less a blue a blue spell so yeah never mind i guess there was a good chance that we were going to get that still uh let's go to five His hands aren't very exciting All right, so we're on Kefnet plan. Oh, Esper again. What a surprise. So I'm holding the radical idea because we can cast like use it to be able to cast three spells, but also they they didn't play a land. They just kept seven cards. So like if they have if they have a counter spell, I'm just like letting them use it. It's not like I need to there's nothing I really need to be drawing right now. Uh creeping chills are not necessarily what I want to be drawing. I have to say. Now this this doesn't look like this is not a hero deck because they're playing Augur and these other things. Uh, sure. We'll do two mana chill. We're just gonna get him. Hard cast and chills. We're going hard cast plan. Hard cast plan works. Hard cast plan works. All right, you know what? I don't think we sideboard. I guess maybe Ashok instead of Kefnet. I think I kind of regretted sideboarding against the other Esper deck. Let's go Ashok over Kefnet. All right, second Ashiok over one chill. We'll take out one chill. There we go. But I want to just still keep these chills in and just go aggro. I'm going to mill myself. <laughs> yeah, Kefnet, Kefnet did win me that game. That means take it out. Because it can't win. Like, Kefnet's got, not going to win two games in a row, right? Like, just, just math. It's not going to happen. So 
you take it out. There's no way your the opponent loses to Kefnet twice in a row. Because now they're going to be all prepared for Kefnet. Yeah, so the question is, how do you know who to mill when? I think when your opponent has a ton of interaction, aka removal spells, when they're, when they're playing just a bunch of removal spells and are ready for creatures and everything, and they're not playing very many win conditions, and it's going to take them like a longer time to win the game, you want to try to just mill them and try to mill their win conditions and try to blank all of their removal spells in hand. Yeah, I kept one land because we had Drown Secrets. Drown Secrets is just our best card by so far that basically we have Drown Secrets I'm keeping the hand. Uh, sure. Go get him, Narcomiba. Go get him. 20 life, that's not much. You can do it. Yeah, go, go get this Narset over here. Alright, we're pretty dead. Reckless and ill refined. Come on, minus Narset. All right, so see, like, this is the kind of stuff they're playing, like, all this kind of removal. This is where you'd want to be trying to mill them. Oh, no, Cavalier of Gales is awesome. That card's awesome. Narset's so tough to deal with. Is it possible they're not playing Little Teferi? Is that possible they're not playing Little Teferi? I really wish the Spark Harvest card was just the one mana remove five counters from a Planeswalker. Kind of wish it was that. That's I feel like that's our that's the best answer to Narset. Cause it's like we we have to be like playing the Narc Amoebas. Cause like I want to be trimming Narc Amoebas, but like you have to play Narc Amoebas for this card. I'll get rid of the steam vents. Cool. 
Cool, we got got drown secrets in play. Under thought erasure. Negate would be like our best draw now to to make sure that we'd have a counter spell for Narset. That'd be like our best thing that we could draw. Nope. Okay, so I think I want to discovery now. Alright, so if if they have Thought Erasure, they won't see that Phoenix. Sorry I'm late. They ticked up? I've got time. Gross. I kept the Phoenix so like so Narset uh, we would have like the creature to go up. attack Narset. Let's try this. Take the Phoenix. 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 Darn. Don't test me. It's always an answer. Uh oh. No. So I can dispersal that. But then they just get to do that again next turn. Let's think this through. But it does just Brick, you know, it does make them do that again next turn. Honestly, maybe I needed to start milling myself. I mean, it's kind of too late, but maybe I need to be milling myself now that we see a hostage taker. Discarded a land? They didn't even play a land last turn. They just discarded one? If they if they do the hostage taker thing again. Dang it. I was gonna say we we had like mission briefing where we could like mission briefing dispersal and do that again. Uh, yeah, Ice, that's tough. Advice for a 12-year-old that very counter-happy and then runs out of counter spells too early. And just kind of, I guess the the main advice is, is patience. Um, that is a tough thing to kind of teach. I really should be milling myself. We're not we're not doing thirty four like with this hostage taker. It's it's definitely unfortunate and I wish I would have been milling myself for all these cards, but with that hostage taker I I have to. I have to now.
Looking for drown secrets. Why would I want a third Jace? Because they're good. The win con is certainly still me milling myself. Yeah, we're going to die soon to this hostage taker. Three spells we could cast here. Kevin, that's a good one like that. We get it back. I do not want to mill my Kefnet over, though. So I'm going over there, because I don't, I don't want to mill over Kefnet. Well, that was, like, perfect. Yeah, cool M20 cards in here. It, the the one is scheming symmetry. And we're going to have like their we're going to like attack and kill them and have their graveyard taken out. We had everything taken out. That Jace was awesome. It was doing so much work for us. All right, 2 and 1. Yeah, Kefnet winning another game. Uh, Jace really won that game. The Kefnet, you know, did a did a good thing, but the Jace really won that game. But I I said that it couldn't happen two in a row. That's why I took it out, and then I brought it back. I said it couldn't happen twice in a row. I didn't say it couldn't happen two times. So I was still right. <laughs> Without the Kevnet, it was all air. Well, we could have also just found Phoenix. More Phoenixes. Because, you know, another... More Phoenixes would have... Uh, they, they hostage shaker one Phoenix, but we have the other Phoenix. Like, they block each other, and they both go back to the graveyard and come back and stuff. And, yeah, this hand's not good, but it's got Drown Secrets, so keep in. Most important card. Viashino Pyromancer. Hmm. Well, are you jelly, Viashino? <laughs> They're like, look at this two mana card that we're going to play that's a 2 1 that deals 2 damage to the opponent. I'm like, alright, well, take a look at this jelly. It's a 1 1 that whenever you play it, it deals 3 to the opponent and you gain 3 life. They're like, oh snap, that's. That sounds definitely better.
So I could go opt briefing opt and try to bring back Phoenix with that, but I think we have a turn. Let's go let's go discovery first. Well, So I go, I mean, briefing is just an awesome card. So I want, I want briefing. It does make my turn, this turn, not so good. The rest of my turn here, I mean. But I, I want briefing for the next turn. So, we're, so like next turn we're gonna have briefing, discovery, plus opt. And then the following turn after that, we're gonna have briefing, briefing, uh, something because you know like we'll we'll have this briefing briefing our other briefing and so on so our, even though we didn't do anything else this turn besides a discovery that's not great our next two turns are going to be good pledge of unity Dang. All right, Phoenix is Phoenix and chill. We need some chill birds here. All right, take a Nagaviva. Not ideal, it didn't hit a single Phoenix or Chill. Not ideal. Um, I could see this, this actually mattering, the Jace of like, I could see that mattering if we're just like playing like these phoenixes all on defense. We're not playing Jace next turn. We're probably not playing it the turn after. But I could see it mattering later. If not, we'll ditch it to Radical Idea. Darn. Because we're going to be milling ourselves a lot here. Twenty six cards out of four creeping chills, four phoenixes. We've only seen one of each so far. Man, that drown secrets? No, we just can't keep it. It's twenty cards. That does seem kind of good. So there's still three chills in here. That's fine. Did they keep, is that the card they kept on top? Like they thought Rhythm of the Wild was gonna do something?
All right, 17 cards. Oh no, give me this mission briefing. I have an opt. 13 cards. Alright, so they're dead here. Mission briefing so cool. Figured we had to find one of our last two. Um, like we had to hit like the rest of the chills. We're down to five cards. See, this is why I said that Jace could do something. We're back up to 12. Birdies. Man, when this deck gets going, our turn, like, that was another ideal hand with the Drowned Secrets. Our turn five through, uh, you know, five through seven there were awesome. Our turn five, six, and seven. Uh, what would be your choice for GP Denver? I'm I'm assuming that GP is standard. And I don't know honestly. Maybe maybe just like the gruel mid range. I would need I would need to do like some more practicing with some of the, the decks. I'd probably be playing a Vivian Arc a Vivian deck. I really like Vivian Arc Bar Ranger. I maybe would be playing the Golgari Stompy, honestly. I feel like I feel like maybe if I'd yeah, probably the Golgari Stompy. Maybe get some more working on that. Okay, as a tail model. <laughs> uh, Dinos. John Dinos is certainly a lot more aggressive. I think that John Dinos is, is more vulnerable to the more... Basically, the more people play it every day that goes along, I think John Dinos is a little more vulnerable because I think it's a very... It's, it's a more easy deck to just kind of play the... Like, play removal spells that are more tailored to that deck. And so... The more people lose to it, the more they'll kind of start changing their deck to be tailored against that kind of thing. But it's it's more on people's radar also to do that. Because I've certainly made sideboard choices in decks with the Gruul Dinos, the Jun Dinos deck in mind.
Your rock lets your temples double scry. That is awesome. Yeah, all all your things double. So yeah, I get double scry. That's pretty awesome. Shows I never published this Lesnia Proliferate list video on YouTube. So let's do that. Okay, click publish. All right, so there's Rhythm of the Wilding. scary. Ow. All right, Jace is just bait basically. Basically trying to set us up for a better next turn. Cause I want I want five mana so that we you know we radical idea, get rid of the Arc Light Phoenix, plus, you know, something like Discovery, plus Opt, and then Phoenix comes back. Like with four mana, we're not really getting the the Phoenix back. Stop drawing these narc amoebas. I need these narc amoebas to block. There's always an answer. I'm just going to take this land to have next turn, because I'm going to need six mana next turn. And so that's a you know non-shock land. Next turn, I do have the ability to go Briefing Ritual of Soot next turn. <clears throat> Could do that. Uh, that thing's scary. I don't think briefing ritual of soot. Like, let's take this thing out first. Like, you know, briefing soot. Let's think this. does work, but then I'm at 7. So, you know, if they have another Haste Carnage Tyrant, I'm dead. What have we seen? We've seen two Chills and two Phoenix so far. We'd stop drawing these Narc Amoebas. All the briefings are in my hand. Ugh.
We'll go briefing op, briefing opt. No. So this would be mill two cards over. This is going to be mill six out of 15. Let's do this. Good. Third chill. Fourth Phoenix. We got to hit fourth chill. We got fourth Narc Amoeba. Our fourth chill somewhere in those five cards. <clears throat> so we don't have lethal here. Like they're very dead next turn, so we might as well so we're just gonna stay back on defense, of course. <clears throat> Uh, I don't, I'm not sure if Arclight Reanimator is a lot worse without Finale of Promise. I'd say go ahead and try it without crafting them. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm not, I don't know if it's a lot worse. I don't know. I could see, I could see you getting away without playing it. It's another expensive card. I don't. All right, so we're only taking two damage with this block. I think it does have trample, right? No. All right, now we're taking four. Yeah, I missed the Selesnya deck. We're on our last deck here with the Dredge. Uh, the Selesnya deck's already up on the YouTube channel. All right, so we we win by a lot of ways here. Uh, let's let's mill ourselves out. We haven't we haven't really won by milling ourselves out yet. Try this. Jellyfish. Our our last creeping chill was the very last card in the deck. Because we scried those to the bottom. Jellyfish. Alright, draw a card. We drew a card with no cards in library. Jace says if you draw a card with no cards in library, you win the game. All right, we're three and one. We had a couple of good hands there that game. We had Drowned Catacombs. That card is. Okay, Finale is key in regular Phoenix. Oh, well then it's probably key in the other Phoenix too. Johnny Stefani with that tier one sub for 15 months. Welcome back, Johnny Stefani. Twelfth sub of the day. Yeah, y'all are getting bonus stream tonight. Yeah, we're on 30 minutes later than normal right now. Well, 20, 25 minutes. But we've been playing some long leagues here. I mean, I like having three lands, four spells, but Narcomoeba, Creeping Chill, not really spells that I want. No Drowned Catacomb, my most important spell. We're going to Mulligan. Or Drowned Secrets. I always call it Drowned Catacomb. Drowned Secrets. Drowned Catacomb's the land. All right, we'll keep this. So... The problem with putting back Phoenix is then the Phoenix is the bottom card of the library. That's not really something that you want. Uh, 
This hand's just awesome. I don't want to put any of these back. Yeah, we could grab with scheming. Could shuffle with scheming. Yeah, I think Discovery's the, the next weakest card. I mean, Discovery's very good, too. Maybe I get rid of the Opt. No, we need Opt. Alright, I'm going to get rid of the Phoenix. That was a really tough call. Can I put that Nargamiba back? This is just the best chance that we hit land drop is Discovery here. take these. So they, wait, they didn't play a land turn two? It's odd. Go get him, Narcomiba. Ooh, double, double up. Two mana, get two one ones. Reasonable. Uh, no shock. <laughs> Jellyfish come in bears <laughs> like shoes. Well, it's not doing anything. So obviously we could radical idea, get rid of the Phoenix. And then opt. And then hopefully have some other two mana spell. I don't want to use the briefing. Or I could just, just cast the Phoenix. It's not as explosive, but they're just not doing anything over here. Alright, now we'll we'll do this. Gives me a really good use of Gives me a really good use of that radical idea. Really, really hope we find a spell that costs two or less. Perfect. So we don't have to use the mission briefing. Yeah, I think you're right. I think they're just kind of looking at the deck. Our next turn's going to be crazy with double Drown Secrets. They're like really dead. We're going to get a whole bunch of Phoenixes.
So we started the we started the turn with 30 cards in library. Mission briefing, mission briefing. Briefing the briefing. Over here. So we started the turn with 30 cards in our library. And we are ending it with 10. <laughs> Mill 20 cards that turn. Hey, Aaron. Yeah, not quite too late. We're still on. Still on for a little bit. All right. So they are doing all their Risen Reef stuff. Um,. I don't know if any of those cards are any in the sideboard, any cards I want. We'll see. Hey, okay. <laughs> this deck is really satisfying. Well, this is the like the worst of the hands, but I just don't want to go to four. We have to draw a land in the top two cards, of course. Okay, we got got a land there. Looking for drown secrets. I don't want to take the land. Yeah, we'll take the land. Um Yeah, there's not there's not really too many cyborg cards against us. Okay, so now that we see that they are okay, now that I know that they're elemental aggro, I did not know they're gonna be playing these cards. I'm definitely definitely want to be playing uh ritual of sets. Now for game three. Let's get rid of both of those. I don't want to shock land next turn. Yeah, I did not I didn't I didn't realize that they were on the aggro game plan. So yeah, let's definitely get these ritual sets in here. Can you imagine if we had a ritual set right now? How good it would be? It'd be so good. Alright, secrets here a little late. Even if I like mission briefing and try to hit creeping chills or uh, narc amiibos, we're not really coming back from there. Get Legion's End. Soot, soot. Do I want Grasp also? 
what am I putting in if I'm bringing in all this? Like, what am I taking out for all this removal? Narcomoebas do a good job chump blocking, but am I supposed to just be playing removal spells instead of chump blockers? I guess so. I think I still want the chills. Let's trim a Jace. Kefnet blocks very well, though. I could see us cast... I, symmetry is just like more Drown Secrets, so I think we just got to keep it. But I could also see us symmetrying for uh, Ritual of Soot. All right, so we'll ditch scheming here. Come on, land. Okay, here we go. Feeling pretty blue, Hawkeye. Feeling pretty blue. Yeah, we could need double black, but I really don't want any more shock lands. Oh wait, we can't hit. We can't hit two narcomibas. I was like, oh, we could hit two narcomibas here and block. Can't hit two narcomibas. I mean, that would be like a basically impossible anyway. We don't have any narcomibas. Hmm. I don't want a shock land, but I want to land. I feel like we'll find another land. Maybe not. Yeah. The ops definitely help bring back phoenixes, but we haven't seen any phoenixes or chills yet. There's a phoenix. Our first one, 34, but we know the bottom two cards, so it's basically like we've gone through 28 cards. Found our first phoenix. I haven't seen Soot yet, so it would be a good draw. Mm -hmm. uh, we're, we're doing just fine. This game's not going to be about the number of cards. So saving briefing is better than using it right here. Yeah, so we'll just do radical idea opt. I 
may just go double radical idea actually. No, we'll save that. Darn it, creeping chill. That was not the spot to see you, creeping chill. Oh, come on. Are you serious? Well, I guess we lose. That was really unfortunate. Because we saw... So we saw two phoenixes. Like, okay, if we... So that's 24 in library, but the bottom three we scry down there, so 21. So if you put this card back, 22. So we went through 38 cards, and we saw two phoenixes and zero chills in the top 38 cards that we milled over. Which is pretty unfortunate for us. Thirty-eight cards with no chills and only two Phoenix. No. Over half the deck. You're expecting, you know, like four of the eight, not two of the eight. And we're it's close to two thirds of the deck. There. Yeah, if we would have just milled over that, if that chill was one card higher, we wouldn't be dead. There. But yep. Darn. Because as y'all as y'all know, like we were going to be able to, we were going to be able to go mission briefing, which surveils four. Another mission briefing surveil, you know, like mill over four, mill over four, discovery, mill over four. So like the next turn, we were going to do a mill twelve. Um, and so you know, really good chance that we hit a bunch of phoenixes and creeping chills there that next turn. And basically, we were like we were going to be stabilizing there. But darn. Oh, well, still a pretty sweet league. Pretty, like, a very fun league here for this really fun deck. Scheming Symmetry was pretty nice, honestly. Like, play that on turn one multiple times to go grab Drown Secrets because of how important Drown Secrets is. So that's that's definitely nice. Um, the didn't really do very much with the Kefnet. Yeah, it didn't really do very much with the Kefnet. Again, the, the main problem with this deck is, is of course, sideboarding. It's, it's hard. I think Noctis Grasp and Legion's End are good good upgrades from what we had before, honestly. I don't like the Spark Harvests. I don't. I would, I would rather have... Because I think in that slot, I think we want something to deal... Like, Narset, as we saw, Narset was the big problem. And so, honestly, I would rather just have Price of Betrayal. Just not have to sacrifice anything. Just price of betrayal, one mana, just kill Narset. Kill Narset, Little Teferi, kill those things. I think I think that's what I would want here. Price of betrayal, not spark harvest. I think that's just the most most efficient thing. It can even kill Big Teferi, you know. You know, it kills all those Esper Planeswalkers. That's that's what I want in that slot. I don't want to have to like sacrifice some Narc Amoeba that may not be in my deck kind of thing. Um, yeah, you could... Uh, I wouldn't put Chemistry's Inside instead of Kefnet. Um, the other the other option is a Chart, of course, instead of a Kefnet. You could play one Chart. It's another... You know, it's it's another card that... that, you know, makes your deck a little faster. So, yeah, Chart, chart of course, would be the option over Kefnet there. It's possible you just want... The chart main, and then like Kefnet's, maybe a Kefnet or two in the sideboard, maybe. Um, yeah, you, you wouldn't want like the four mana cards, you want two mana cards. Um,
but there we go. That's Dredge. All right, so if you're watching the video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed this one. Hawkeye, are you going to say bye? All right, well, Hawkeye saying bye. But if so, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. I appreciate both of those. But thank you so much for watching Dredge, and I will see you for the next video.